Namaste, mere dosto. Elizabeth Thakur here. I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to come on today to talk about an incident that recently happened in India that I'm really upset about. That is unbelievably shocking and horrific. Just after we've had the incident happen with a man being beaten, now we have an incident where a lady is being cut to pieces, a Hindu lady. And so I just wanted to uh, watch a video on it because there's more to the story than meets the eye. This video is giving us clarity on the DGP of Jharkhand. We'll give you more clarity, uh, hopefully, on the incident that happened. So let's go ahead and watch it. There is now a very growing culture in our country that Muslim boys are trying to entrap Hindu girls. And for that, they are fund a lot of money. उनको मोटरसाइकिल देंगे बहुत अच्छे पैसे देंगे 50000 से 1 लाख रुपए महीना मेनी ऑफ देम इवन यू नो इस तरह से कि अगर फंस भी जाती है लड़की भगाने में सफल हो गए कई क्रिमिनल केस हो गए कई कोई पुलिस आ गई तो लीगल सपोर्ट भी उनको पीछे से देते हैं तो इस तरह के कई केसेस आ रहे हैं तो इन अ वे दैट इज बीइंग सपोर्टेड बाय देयर सब कल्चर सब कल्चर में उस चीज का की शिकारता बढ़ी है और जहां आप औरत को सिवाय चैटी के कुछ समझे ना अगर ऐसे सब कल्चर में आप विश्वास करते हैं ऐसे सब कल्चर से आप आते हैं तो किसी लड़की की भावनाओं का कोई मूल्य नहीं है आपके लिए वो एक वस्तु है उपभोग की वस्तु है एक आपने उसका उपभोग किया और मन किया तो डाला क्योंकि आपको दिस वीडियो एक्सप्लेन्स टू अस वेल एंड गिव्स अस क्लैरिटी ऑन लव जिहाद एंड हाउ इट एक्चुअली कम्स फ्रॉम अ डीपर मोटिव देन जस्ट मर्डरिंग एंड टॉर्चरिंग अ हिंदू गर्ल इट्स मोर अबाउट a money factor that's given from the funding of the Arabic countries. This poor woman came from Mumbai and met a Muslim guy on an app, fell in love with him. So then they shifted to Delhi and after shifting to Delhi, within a week he cut her up into pieces. This was like a well-planned incident. It's not like he got angry and just killed her when people snap. It wasn't like somebody suddenly snapping and getting angry. It was definitely planned. There was a, a motivation behind his murdering her. He planned this so well that she was determined to leave her family for this guy and then he would go off and do this terrible thing to her and he even bought a refrigerator just so that he could store the pieces of her inside of it. I don't know what type of humanity this is or where it comes from, but it shouldn't be allowed to happen. I don't know what goes through people's minds. He came from a very well-educated family, and so there was no excuse for him to go off the deep end and do these terrible things to an innocent woman. We don't understand why this is happening and it continues to happen. Unfortunately, there's just too many incidences where this continues to occur, and it's you know, clearly shown that we are up against a Hindu genocide and we can't sit back and continue to let this happen. It is happening on a more rapid pace, I would say now, because we just had an, a recent incident where we had somebody be beaten and now this girl has cut up into pieces. So what's next and who's next? So that's something that we have to keep in mind and hopefully we can stop this uh, effect of love jihad in the future because it needs to be stopped and we need to concentrate on stopping it as soon as possible so this doesn't happen to another woman again and again because this is a plan that's happening through the funding of Arabic countries and it will continue to happen until we stop it and we stop these plans from going on and on and on in the future. Furthermore, I want to say that we obviously can't begin to understand why this would you know, happen to anybody. If we educate people on it, it doesn't make much of a difference because you would think educated people would have more understanding to prevent these type of situations. So this guy had a very well-maintained social media account where he was supporting LGBTQ rights and he was supporting women's rights. He was very attractive. I hope women will take this seriously and I hope the government will also. I think that women need to get educated and learn to defend themselves as best as possible. I don't think that another situation needs to happen like this again. This incident also teaches us a lesson that we need to have at least one friend to stay in contact with because in this case, 
What this lady did was she had a friend that wanted to know her whereabouts. Her friend was calling her brother and asking where she might be and why she was not picking the call up. Her friend was worried about her. They had the police investigate. So that's how this incident came into light uh, with her one friend asking about where her whereabouts and then ultimately leading up to discovering who she ended up with. The police found him and was able to investigate the situation. And the guy told the police what exactly he did with her. I hope this guy will get the highest punishment possible. I hope this incident will set the example for the future so no one can think about doing such type of horrible things again. I really don't know what to say about this anymore. I'm really shocked, but I'll see you guys in the next video.